where they're not getting burnt, they're poisoned in the water. There's fires all across the country, floods all across the country. All this is done by the Illuminati. They're trying to destroy the surface of the planet so that we will have to go underground with them. Do you understand that? They're at a point now where they have to go. I mean, we're not going to go. It depends. It depends on if you it depends on if you're prepared or not. You've got to be prepared because regardless of how close the sun becomes to the planet Earth, it will not have any effect on us. I mean, but do we have to prepare ourselves as individuals? Like no, we have to prepare ourselves as a body. That is our problem. We keep on breaking up into individuals and divided. We have no power. We're the only people that disunited amongst ourselves. Yeah. We get broken down all the way down into Jehovah's Witnesses and Seventh-day Adventists and Sunni Muslims and Ansars. We're broken up into all kinds of little stupid splinter groups. There's Egyptologists over here, Dr. Ben is on this side, and Clark is on this side, and, and Sarah Wahad is over here, and Muhammad al Amin is in Alabama, and Farrakhan is over here, and Warren D is over here. And that's just in the Islamic world. Then when you get into the Hebrew world, you got Ben Amin, Kata, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh over here, Rabbi Jeremiah over here, Rabbi Matthews over here. That's in the black so-called Jewish section. Then when you get into Christianity, you got Seventh-day Adventists, Pentecostals, Sister Failures, Protestants, Baptists, Catholics, and all of this has been set up to divide us in mind. Because the power of us coming together mentally can affect the world. The whole thing is to keep us divided in mind, right? Because of this day and time. The devil time is at its expiration date. It's fulfilling its prophecy. It's 6,000 years is coming to an end. Now what he has to do is get off of the surface of the planet. If you would just be patient, he'll have to leave. He can't reverse the greenhouse effect. He cannot push the sun away. He cannot reverse the destruction of the ozone layer. He can't stop that. It's not bothering you. He's convincing you that it's bothering you. <laughs> He's trying to tell you, you better not go to the beach, because if you go to the beach, you're going to get skin cancer. What's wrong with you? You were born on the beach. <laughs> Where do you think Ethiopia is? Where do you think Sudan is? 130, 110, 150 degrees all year round. You follow that? 